Andreas Giorgio here at the famed Suggies Gym in Newark, England. And a, a first for the MMA Plus TV YouTube channel, a first for MMAplus.co.uk. We get to, to speak to one of the, the younger Sugdens. You know, we, we've spoke to Regis in the past. We've spoke to Chad in the past. We've, we've seen them rise up through MMA, through boxing, kickboxing. And now the focus and the attention, Bailey, is turning on to you as you will make your glory debut in New York City. It's a massive moment and for, for anybody to, you know, let alone make their debut on, on the number one kickboxing promotion in the world, but to get to make that debut in, in New York City, you know, the Madison Square Garden, a lineage of history right there. The smirk is on your face. I know how much it, it means to you. But when you first got that call, did you have to slap yourself for a second? Could you actually believe it? Yeah, well, I was, I was thinking he was just, me I think my dad was messing about, messing about saying, uh, oh, are you fighting in New York? And I was like, Nah, don't don't mess with that. And then you get, and then it's like seriously, you are. And I was like, when pe when people say to you, "Oh, where are you next fighting?" and I say New York, they look at me like I'm talking rubbish. And I'm like, no, I am genuinely fighting in New York. And it's it's amazing for a young lad from a small town like this to be fighting someone like that. It's incredible, really. Yeah. And, and to get that opportunity, uh, you know, there was a Road to Glory UK event, eight man tournament in the featherweight division. You and Mo Abdurrahman got to the final. Mo won, but you were both offered contracts as, as as well as Jamie Bates, who also featured on that card. And he, you know, he he went to Glory in the Super Fight Series, headlined, and he got the win. Now, so it looks like there's a new wave of British talent coming over to Glory Kickboxing. Yeah, I think it's good because uh, really we only we've only ever had Chad, who was had a run on Glory, and like I mean, people like Liam Harrison and, and have fought on Glory, but they never really I don't think they ever really made a big impact. And I think. Uh, now we've got a few people on it. I think it's good. I think I'm going to take over as well. The British takeover. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. It's good. You know, the the eight man tournament. It, there was a lot a lot of pressure on all competitors because you know to go for a quarter final, semi final, and a final, especially because in Glory, you know, it's it's a four man tournament if you do one of the contender tournaments. So it was a bit more strenuous. You had to go through three different guys. Your first fight, Andrew Little, you got that that flash knee which sent him to the canvas. And uh, I think that actually went a bit viral on the internet as well. A lot of people were talking about that. Uh, but the second fight, again, <laughs> you, you're always in, in the headlines, it seemed, af after that. They were talking about the controversy of the majority decision against Adrian Maxim. Uh, it was a very close fight. Um, some people scored it his way. Some people thought maybe it should have been a draw. What is your judgment on that? Because there has been a lot of talk. Yeah, I mean, I see the way some people can see it like that. But at uh, the end of the day, I thought I won the first round. At the end of the day, it's, every technique is equal. And the only time it's close, if it's close on techniques, then the aggressor wins. But in the first round, I landed more. And I, I was on the back foot, but I landed more. And I think it's as simple as that. I won the first, he won the second, but I dominated the third. And I think I dominated the third comfortably. I stood in the pocket and I was hitting him more, a lot more times than he was hitting me. And I think... I don't think you can argue, argue with the judging. Uh, I get some people like to see aggression all the time, but I think uh, it's only close when it, people are landing the same amount of punches in the first round. I landed a lot more than he did. And I think the judges are the best judges in the country. Uh, how how people can argue with it, it's, uh, it's a bit beyond me, to be honest, because uh, it's like they're people who are watching the fight and these guys get paid to judge. So <laughs> it's a bit stupid. Did that play an effect on you going into the final? though? Because it, it was a bit of you know a, a battle of you know two 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 guys that really wanted to to get this contract. I mean, he's ten years older than you, Adrian Maxim was as well. And uh, you know, we saw for the first time you were put under pressure really in in your kickboxing career. You took a bit of damage in that. Do you think that did play a part against Moab Durman in the final? It definitely did. Uh, I mean, my legs were tired. I couldn't really. I wasn't really moving very well. I had a cut on my eye, and I was exhausted because I'd gone for it so much in the third round. Because I knew whoever won that third round was going into the final and getting a contract on Glory. So I literally put everything into it. And I think in the first round against Mel, I knocked him down twice, and that was at my worst. And I still knocked him down twice, and I had nothing left in the second and third. But if you think me on my top game, he had two fights where he only, he's only fought six minutes in the whole tournament. I had two f pretty much full fights, and. I still knocked him down in the first round twice. So I think in a fresh fight, I think Mo's good. Don't get me wrong. He's, it's not like I'd walk straight through him, but I think in a fresh fight, I hit too hard for people to stand in front of me, and I think I'd take him out if I was fresh. Yeah, yeah I mean, 
for me, I'd fight Robin Van Roosman in my first fight because I'm ready to go whenever. Whenever whenever anyone wants to fight, I'm game. I'll, I'll walk in and I'll fight anyone. If someone pulls out the contender tournament in February, I'll jump in because I'm ready all the time. And If I have to start at the bottom and work my way up, I'll do that. But I'm ready for everything, always ready. Have you got a plan of like how many fights you want to take before you, maybe you get a contender tournament and then maybe get in the title shot? Well, I think... Take out these guys who are from 17 to 10, take these out and then get into the top 10. Start sorting some of the top 10 boys out as well and then want to work my way up as quick as possible, really. Like, if it goes really fast, if it doesn't, then I'll just stay until I become champion. But I'm definitely becoming champion of glory in the next two years, so that's it. Your age, is it a hindrance or is it an advantage? Um, I think it varies because... I think uh, people thought, oh, Bailey's out of it in the second round against Adrian Maxim because he was hitting me hard and I was under pressure. But I think it was an advantage because at this age, you sort of get a second wind a lot easier than when you've already sort of give up a bit more. And I think I thought, well, this is the start of my career, I'll just go for it. And I went out and I enjoyed it. And I think my age, my age sort of played to that. I think if uh, I was a bit older, it could have gone the other way and I could have thought, oh, do you know what? You're getting on it now, just leave it out and then but I didn't I didn't give up and I stayed in there and I won the fight so I think it's an advantage. Is there any extra pressure on you? You know, looking around the room, you got Chad doing great things in boxing, really pushing up the ranks there. Regis of course, you know, now he's he's finally back in the cage after his injury, he's gonna be pushing up the featherweight ranks in MMA. You know, Bailey now it's is looking to you uh, to to following your brother's footsteps and they've done great things in kickboxing as well. And uh, you know now the spotlight turns to you is it kind of been like this this moment waiting for it to be your turn really yeah as i mean uh a lot of people say oh as your brothers and like they don't want they, they used to didn't want to talk about me but now they're, they're talking about me and i think it's good because it's good for me because it gives me that edge to i want to be the glory champion because chad got number two contender i think why not go one up so i i think it's an advantage more than more than pressure it's definitely an advantage and being such, you know, a fresh fighter, a young fighter, many people may not have heard of, of bad boy Bailey Sugden. What should they expect in New York City when they get to see you fight for the first time in the glory ring? They should expect the most exciting fighter they've ever seen on the planet Earth. Ever. Conor McGregor, sit down, move out of the way, bad boy's coming. <laughs>